Hey guys, it's me, Miss Naked Gardener, and it's Friday here for me. Uh, you'll probably see this next Friday. I am trying to do a little bit to prepare for making things easier for Sid next week because I'm going to be flying to El Paso Monday through Thursday. I won't get home till late, late, late at night. So I really try to make it as simple for him. Which means making sure that they have a lot of extra feed and things like that. I am needing to go drop off a lot of eggs. I have like 18 dozen that I'm going to be dropping off at one of our local stores that have our products. So that is something I want to get done so that we are not having any problems with them having inventory. I did not release the ducks as I thought I was going to to free range because Sydney and I were noticing that they were not really complying with going in at night. Um, so I've worked really hard this week doing a whole routine, clapping my hands, all of that, and they are finally going in and complying. So they have earned their freedom today. I am going to release them. But first, these guys are yelling at me, and they're so cute. I like to come on. I like to feed them, uh, and then because they just that's all they want is just a little snack, and I do that to keep them trained, and they ignore me as soon as I give them the food. So I like to give them a little food first, go and do all the other chores, and then come back and get all of the little pets and the loves. Okay, guys. I heard ya. My goodness. Ooh. That's all I give them once a day. They try to knock me over though. Watch out, babies. Watch out. Let me get in. Try not to pop myself on this. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. I know. You're going to try and jump me. I know. Oh my goodness. Stop bumping me. All right. You just get so excited. Okay. Okay. Let's see, this guarantees that they're going to follow me. <coughs> okay. We separate these bowls. <laughs> Come on, guys. All right. Okay. Separate them out like this. They think each bowl is more delicious. You think you're missing out on something? Okay. Oh, come on, sugar mama. Girl, come on. Let, let me get to the bowl. Let me get to it. Goodness. Little scary cat. I'm going to put some more in there. All right. And my little girl. I love her so much. That's Martha Stewart. She's my favorite. She's my little baby. But this little butthead. Gordon Ramsay his jealousy doesn't stop because I love on her and he just headbutts me when I'm loving on her when I free range these guys I don't give them a snack in the morning it's the only way to guarantee getting them back in alright guys they're doing. These girls know. Hey girls. You want to go get your freedom? Okay. Y'all scared? Hey babies. It's okay. Y'all can go. Yeah. There you go. Follow the older girls. See, the older girls are the leaders. 
Oh goodness, she's scared. I'm gonna. They're not the brightest. It's okay. You can go that way, girl. There you go. Go get your friends. I'm gonna go get your eggs. I see one egg in here. I'm wondering. Well, oh, two. Any more hiding in here? I usually get about four. Oh, <laughs> they left me clean eggs. That's even better than how it was the last few days. Got seven girls, four eggs. Two of the new ones that I got are on the younger side and just starting to lay and their eggs are a little smaller. I usually find a goose egg over here. I should have brought the basket. Yeah. Oh, I got two goose eggs. I'm putting these on the incubator right now because I want to hatch out babies. They are absolutely enjoying this little trip. Here's our American breast. That's my OG group and our green fire group right next to them. We have them running behind where we had the sheep, which is working out great because the sheep have really great fertilizer and these guys just scratch it in. They're doing their job nicely. I'm collecting eggs. I've got some that are about to hatch for these guys. And I'm collecting more for my second group that I'm hatching out. They have really great temperament. We worked really hard with all of our groups to have really great temperament, which is important. I don't like aggressive birds at all. And we did start it with some that did have some aggression initially. Not in this group, not with the green fires, but with the OGs over there. And this is my favorite group. I know green fire is a very popular line. Um, all of them really come from green fire, but I'm just a really big fan of the group that we have upbred. Oh yeah, they have plenty. I just find myself kind of like shaking this. This is plenty for them to get through for an entire week. I like to walk the field as I'm checking them and check the ground and look for things I want to pull. Uh, that has slowly over the past three years of being here has contributed to improving our soil here and getting rid of some of the things that I noticed that they don't even eat like goat weed. We had a ton of goat weed and over the past three years, every time we section the chickens and move them, I just pull uh, up the, the goat weed in the spot that they're at before it seeds. And I have noticed a definite decrease going on. I feel like it is a good investment of my time as time goes on here. This was a feeder that was sent to us from Stromberg and I really like it because it keeps the food from getting wet. This feeder that Sydney put together for our extended times away has been working out perfectly. And he did it just in time because this is really the only way me being able to work off the farm for a few days at a time. I mean, he's checking on the animals, but um, this is the only thing that really keeps things together. Checking on all the chicken groups, I am seeing that the only thing that I'm really going to have to do is to top off all of their waters. All the feed is good. Fencing's good. I've gone and checked to make sure that no none of it's leaning. I did check the weather for the days I'm gone if it stays the same because Texas is crazy. As a matter of fact, it's been warm all week. It's been crazy. Texas, this is the most odd February. I'm used to having ice and snow in February, but we've been having like 80 degrees, 77 degrees. And 
I'm not gonna complain. Like I'm a frost tender flower, so I'm loving, absolutely loving this weather, but I have to keep reminding myself that it is February in Texas. So it's definitely a fool's errand to get too comfortable with this weather right now. But I do see that there is going to be some possible rain. So I probably will put some hay in a few different spots with all of the birds, probably with this group. I don't really need to because their hutch is up off the ground. So it's not an issue. They always stay dry, this group. But the other two with the hutches, I'll probably put some hay down on the ground and their hutches just to help them keep their feet dry. It makes me feel better. So um, between that and the water, it looks like that's all I'm gonna need to do for these guys. This is kind of a creepy barn. It's scarce to go in here. He'll only come in here in the morning, not at night when he gets home late. He says something hits him in the face every time it comes in. I think it's probably these strings that are hanging because um, I never have that problem. You guys sitting on eggs? What? You're fine. You can stay. You don't have an egg underneath you. You're good. What about this one over here? Y'all can stay there. You're good. You can see a lot of their poop falls through at the bottom there. Only a little bit gets caught. I really like this hutch. It's a really nice hutch. And Sydney designed this himself off of no plans. It is, it's one of my favorites actually. There's a peek at our cute little babies. And another week, week and a half, they're going to get separated out and found homes for they're so sweet i bring them snacks yeah she's my baby girl their mama is so sweet and it's trickled down genetically to these babies too so they are gonna be looking for new homes yeah babies so cute and all of our other babies hi are you trying to say hi to me hi baby Hi. I check on them every day. I pet them every day. It keeps them friendly. Oh, babies. Hi. These are the big, big babies. Huh. Your babies are big. And sweet. Let's say hi. What are you trying to do, Mama? She is a very protective mommy. Yeah, she loves her babies. Them big babies. You're getting so big. This one's face is so cute. Hi, babies. Y'all are so silly. Okay. I'm just coming to say hi. I'm just coming to say hi. You saying hi too? Yeah? He's a little baby. So cute. Especially you. I just love that one. It's face and it's coloring. It's adorable. The ducks are enjoying themselves. Y'all liking that, huh? That's a good babies. Is it cuddle time? Do we get to have some cuddle time? Hmm? My sweet little love bug. I love her. Yeah. She's so easy to love. Huh, Martha? Yeah. It's so cool to come out here midday and she just runs up for affectionate little scratches and nice I didn't mention that my friend Curtis with Webfoot Farms gave us a bunch of his eggs and our eggs for our Welsh Harlequins so we're gonna be hatching those out I have two in here and the rest of those are goose eggs 
So let me see when that's going to be due. This is kind of what we've been looking at. Today is the 23rd. The day before I leave, we have to lock down the American breast that we have now in the incubator. And they're going to be hatching the day before, probably the day of also. And then in March, I'll be locking down those ducks and geese. And that looks like what's going on. And we're going to the Oki homestead here. The day I get back, I actually am going to have to start the next group of American breasts that I'm collecting now. Uh, so that'll be like my priority the Friday that I get back. I felt like they were hiding eggs from me. And I usually get them there and over there. But apparently they have discovered a new spot. <laughs> See? This is success. It was our first day out. Our mature girls led them in and now they know what's up. I've been out here in this field the last two, three nights pulling grass for these guys as a snack in the evening and they go crazy. You're about to see that. Probably the only boy that I'm gonna scratch and love on because his time with us is not gonna be a long time. He's an older boy and he has a foot issue. This is the first time this boy has come up to me and it's been after the last two days of giving him some grass feed. It's not advisable to make friends with a ram because they will buck at you just like Gordon Ramsay does on me all the time but this boy he's gonna be the only one that I'm gonna be like this with because I want his last days to be good days you ready for some new grass You left this open over here? And uh, you start bringing that. It's okay. Okay, boys. Go on. Go on, boys. There you go. There you go. Go on. You just can't help yourself on that grass, huh? Go on, babies. Yeah. Keep, keep, keep. It's open over here. Oh, shoot. Right down there. Uh, so, help me go this way. Shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. There you go. There. Cut the stuff. I gotta bring the 